all those who are going up and down. It's like you bought a new dress. Can you sit down? Madam, that dress is beautiful, but sit down. We are here for a very important business. There is a mountain for transformation in the air. And you must catch that anointing. To my primary school. And here was a madman driving everybody out of the school. A voice said to him, man, you also can drive this madman out of this school. And I said to him, Deco, I command in the name of Jesus, roll out of this school. In 1958, we didn't know much about anointing and the move of God. When the man fell and began to roll, I was afraid. Because I didn't know what was happening. My headmaster came running after me. Oh my, you mean at your little tender age, you're already into juju practice. What did you do to this madman? <laughs> oh God, I don't know what I did. I just said in the name of Jesus, roll out of this. Heaven will perform. As the man was rolling, suddenly he stopped and said, Hey, hey, Oga, do you know I'm naked? Can you cover my nakedness? When a madman admits his nakedness, he is what? Healed. <laughs> Beginning tonight, we are going to cause commotion in so many places but remember also your enemies will come as soon as David was anointed king of Israel the Philistines came against him everywhere you go remember there are enemies who hate your success they will tell 250 stories against you but don't let that bother you your father has the final say Let nobody intimidate you. And fear no man. Don't be afraid of problems. Because life without problem is useless. We grow by the problem we solve. Wherever there is problem, there is a provision. Are you still here? Let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 28. Verse 18, there's something amazing there. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, Jesus came and spake unto his disciples, saying, All power. Can we all say all power? All power. In, is given unto me in all heaven. All power what? Earth. No, 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 no. All power is given unto me in heaven and on earth. If you have received this man that has all the power both in heaven and on earth can you really be an ordinary man anymore I want you to think of it and conceive it in the laboratory of your heart if this man that has the almighty power is in you as your Lord and Savior you can't be an ordinary man I was smuggling Bible to China and they stopped me and they said if you find more than one copy of your Bible you will do 20 years jail term and I began to cry and God asked me why are you crying use the weapons I gave you speak in tongue and you'll be calling the commander in chief to help you and fight for you so I began to speak in tongue I was surprised when my suitcase crushed the machine they were using to find out how many Bibles I had. Their machine was crushed to pieces. They looked at me and asked me, are you a native doctor? I said to them, I am worse than a native doctor. Because no native doctor has a pretty wife. 
They don't drive good cars. They don't live in good homes. Boy, oh boy. Can you raise your hand and say hallelujah? Somebody. And you will tend to move and you will tend to Jehovah.
the book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 through 17. Colossians chapter 1 verse 16 through 17. For by him were all things created. The Bible declares with a touch of authority that by him Jesus were all things created that are in heaven and if he dwells in you as your lord and savior you cannot be an ordinary person and you remain powerless no god has given you power to confront every sickness in your body at this night, every sickness that has made your body a house and a room shall be sacked. Shall be sacked. Shall be sacked. Shall be sacked. All those who have blocked your way, they don't even know who you are. Because at your appearance, all enemies shall be pushed out of the way. I suspended the woman here in Uyo for sexual immorality. She asked me, who will enforce this suspension? I'm not a member of your fellowship. And I said, the God I preach will enforce it. You will not bear any child again until you repent. For 10 years, she had no child. I was coming out of that town. I won't tell you the town. In Anambra, and, and her three brothers blocked my way. They said, We are here to deal with you. You met our sister Baron. By the time we're through with you, you regret doing it. <laughs> I laughed. I said to them, I placed a curse upon her with spoken word. Now I will speak that word again to kill three of you. Now, not tomorrow. They said, uh -uh, We didn't come for trouble. <laughs> a man that carries power carries an extraordinary ability to do what others cannot do are you hearing me beginning tonight when you speak heaven shall respond wow <laughs> You have heard me tell this story how that I suspended one of our pastors here in New York and uh, we dispersed. He went by his way, I went my way. He called me later and said, Oma, I'm coming to visit you tonight with them robbers. Huh? You? He said, Yes, yeah, sure, come quickly and come early. He said, I'm not coming with pastors, I'm coming with um, my brother. My father had a neighbor who was a damn robber. He didn't stop us from having good breakfast. So let your arm robbers come. They call their priest and be waiting for them at the gate. Beginning tonight, as many as shall receive this baptism of the Holy Ghost, as many as God shall empower tonight, you will no longer be an ordinary person. has spoken he said no weapon sharpened against you shall prosper Amen. what no weapon stand up and say to two person no weapon sharpened against you shall prosper myself when I ran my gate became mobile the gate will go up and come down go up and they went down I, I said okay we didn't know you're not a human being what is happening <laughs> right where you are there is a force that shall now fight all your battles
they invited uh, one of the pastors in the kit. What's his name again? Abraham. And asked him to ask me to ask God not to kill them. That was a good prayer. Father, please don't, don't kill them. Let them become members of my fellowship. <laughs> and God said, I will do it for you. <laughs> Right where you are tonight, I declare you a commander of signs and wonders. <laughs> uh, I know some, I know people will say you have juju. Somebody said all these speakers are juju from India. And I said, uh, if they're juju from India, I think they lost their way and missed the road. And your enemies will call you all kinds of names. But remember, uh, a, a man of God does not need you to function. Does he? Read on, sir. For by him were all things created. By, by him were all things created that are in heaven and that are in earth both in heaven and on earth visible and invisible visible and invisible whether they be thrones whether they be thrones or dominions or dominions or principalities or principalities or powers or powers or things all things were created uh -uh. By I won't give you the name because one of us from that village my my mother asked me why must you die now ma I will not die if this God sent me I'll come back alive my wife said to me if you come back today alive tomorrow I'll go with you but not today go and test the anointing and the power they have there Madam, no soldier goes to war with the wife. Am I correct? That's where I thank God for my weight. Right where you are sitting tonight. Heaven has written your name as a carrier of God's power. Those who fight you will regret it. He who is in you is the maker of what? Heaven and earth. Awesome God. Awesome God. Awesome God. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 9, which is verse 1. Yes, sir. And he called his 12 disciples. He together. called his disciples. And gave them power. And gave them power. Right where you are sitting tonight, power shall fall upon you. Yes, sir. An authority over all the devils and to cure sickness. You have been given power over all the demons and to heal sicknesses. <laughs> Tell somebody by your side, I've been given power to heal sicknesses. <laughs> okay, can I have water to drink? Right where you are, heaven has your name. Heaven also has your assignment. There is something God has called you to do. Read on, sir. What, what does that place say? And he called his twelve disciples together. Yes. And gave them power and authority. Power and authority. Over all devils. Over all demons. And to cure diseases. And to cure... The, raise your hand and say... God has given me power to cure all diseases. <laughs> I 
and he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick he sent them to preach and to heal the sick right where you are this night you are no longer an ordinary person God has given you responsibility and a duty and a job to do don't waste your time do what God has sent you to do every sickness that comes near you shall be in trouble by your spoken word those sicknesses shall run away you've been given power against your own sickness against your own sins you've been given power against all power therefore don't be afraid it is he whose power has no measure that is sending you to do these things he said no i am what with you say loud that this god is with you to five let's take verse nine six to five verse nine write it down to write down is to remember the emphasis of the message yes sir thou visitest the earth and waterest it thou greatly enriched it with the river of god
right where you are this night you are no longer an ordinary person when you speak heaven shall respond when you speak heaven shall answer when you speak heaven shall fight for you let's go to the book of Luke chapter 5 let's see verse 17 And it came to pass on a certain day. It came to pass on a certain day. As he was teaching, as was teaching, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by. Yes. Which were come out of every town of Galilee. Yes. And Judea and Jerusalem. And the yes. power of the Lord was present. Right where you are this night, the power of God is present in our midst. Yeah. Ability to see the peculiar concentrated presence of God in a meeting like this is to believe God for the impossible. See. This night, God is about to heal. How many people do I say he will heal? 100 400 wow when you can feel God's peculiar concentrated presence when you can see the manifestation of his power and presence when the word of God represents the power of God where you are it shows that this awesome God has come to his people on your behalf and no demon shall fight back at his command can we run to second chronicle chapter 20 let's take verse 21 and when he had consulted with the people Yes, he appointed singers unto he the Lord. He appointed singers. Why? Why will God? No refuse. We have gone from song to song and we have brought that the owner of this world into our midst and no demon shall escape no sickness shall escape no enemy shall escape yes and i should praise the beauty of holiness yes as they went as out they before went. the army and yes. to say praise the lord for his mercy and your return to this awesome god when they, and when they began to sing and to when praise, they began to sing and to praise, the Lord sent ambushment. God cancelled his. For protection for provision and this god shall wipe away your tears read on sir against the children of ammon and moab, children of ammon and moab and mansia and mansia which were come against, against judah, judah. Yes, and they sir. were smitten they were all they remember it was god smiting them what does that mean right where you are sitting god shall fight for you no Tell your neighbor, God shall fight for you tonight. You may do me now, Fubo. 
Mark chapter 16 verse 18 Yes sir And these signs shall follow them that believe Right where you are tonight There will be a manifest They shall take up serpents. You will take up serpents and, and if they shall they not drink, hurt you. If they drink any if they drink, drink any poison, you will still continue with your journey. They shall lay hands on the sick. You will lay your hand on the sick. And they shall recover. Can you raise up your hand and say to your hand, you are a healing hand. No longer an ordinary hand. This awesome God says you lay this hand on the sick. He said it with a touch of finality and a hint of conclusion and a measure of authority. And then he added, the sick shall be what? Healed. Right where you are.
whatever you have pain or sickness or, or growth or whatever, lay your hand there and speak to that sick area of your body and give instruction, give command. Tell that sickness what to do. That sickness has stayed too long. That sickness must go and leave you alone. That sickness has no right to build a home in your body. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Lay your hand and speak to that sick part of your body and command that sickness to leave you alone. help me choirs help me send helping hand the power about the power of God is about to break up sickness that has been hiding anywhere in the life of your children must now evacuate must now go father on my right hand side on my left hand side and in front of me 
Whatever any tiny sickness may be hiding or big sickness, the whistle has sounded. They must go. They must go. They must go. They must go. Father, every person, every child, every sickness that has a name shall function no more. Yeah. I demand they be set free. Be, be released. Be set free. 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 Father, from the crown of their head to every part of the body I've given each one. Any sickness hiding anywhere shall hide no more. Yeah. Oh, power of God, in the name of Jesus, move. sickness has occupied any part of his or her life they have suffered enough what has a beginning has an end what has gone up must come down father I demand the enemy shall not rule your children let Satan surrender let Satan give up this battle for Satan has lost this battle Therefore, bless your people and heal them and make them whole and bring them to a place of good health and long life. Father, let the miracle begin. It shall be complete and total and implicit. On my right hand side, on my left hand side, visit everyone that has any kind of health problem. Father, do it. For I ask in Jesus' name. I want you to probe yourself if God has remembered you and visited you and has healed you and set you free come out to the altar to thank him to celebrate him to say to him this shall be permanent Satan will not return anymore in our body can you come quickly we want to bring the meeting to a close if you know that God has visited you you know that God has healed you. You know that God has touched you. You know that God has remembered you. You know that God has taken over your battle and your quarrel. It is God fighting for you, not you fighting for yourself. Come. Jesus said, "The amami o, ami mama ndi sanga yenye akana na eni bianga kemi o, ami mama ndi sanga yenye hallelujah." Jesus said, "The amami o, ami mama ndi sanga yenye akana akana na eni bianga eni bianga kemi o, ami." Jesus said, I'm in my 
have acknowledged what you have done for them their healing shall be permanent and father there will be peace on every side whatever they will lay their hand to do shall prosper beginning tonight sickness has lost the right to harass them Father, may they enjoy good health. And At their parents, every voice that speaks against them shall speak no more. At their parents, every stone the enemy had thrown at them shall now become their stepping stone to greatness. When they sleep, it shall be healing sleep. When they wake up, they shall be as strong as stone. laughter Amen. turn that disgrace into grace Amen. turn that disappointment into supernatural Amen. appointment may they find favor in your presence Amen. let the kingdom of God love them Amen. and fight for them Amen. in the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Ghost Wait, don't go. We want to come to you. All those who stepped up to attest and confirm that this God has visited them with health and healing and deliverance and multiplied health blessings. 
raise up your hand we want to count and whatever you say God has done for you shall be permanent uh, Pastor Joe can you count them for me huh? you will approximate there are more than 400 huh? Amana Eyena base amana ai Amana Eyena base amana so so mo o amana mo amana mo Eyena base so so They shall be the miracle of surplus supplies. There be good health. There be laughter and happiness. Father, at the appearance, no enemy shall face them anymore. The enemy shall greet them and hug them and give them gifts. I declare each one a child of miracles. Amen. None shall be an ordinary person anymore. Amen. As we prepare for God of who? God of honor. Let miracles happen. Father, for your people at their parents, what they're looking for shall come looking for them. Bless them and love them and fight their battles. Thank you. Can we all raise up our hands and just thank the Lord as our chairman will come up and dismiss us? Eh? No, it's not important. No, we are be here. We are late already. Father, this house is a, rem a reminder of your promise to us that none of us shall retire without a home, without a house. As I hold this key in my hand, let the miracle of provision start. Every member of this fellowship shall have a house, shall have the means of mobility, and shall be happy and happy and happy Amen. thank you raise your hand again and just thank this god and bless you okay